What burden of guilt are you carrying on your back? My name is Heidi Cole. Each morning I read a short daily devotional to encourage you in God's truth and his word. My heart is truly for that busy mom, busy woman who doesn't have time each day to turn her focal point back to God. I've been there. Walk with me in the freedom of forgiveness. The path we follow together is sometimes steep and slippery. If you carry a burden of guilt on your back, you are more likely to stumble and fall. At your request, I will remove the heavy load from you and bury it at the foot of the cross. When I unburdened you, you are undeniably free. Stand up straight and tall in my presence so that you, so that no one can place more burden on your back. Look unto my face and feel the warmth of my love light shine upon you. It is the unconditional love that frees you from both fears and sins. Spend time basking in the light of my presence as you come to know me more and more intimately. You grow increasingly free. Okay, Psalms 68 verse 19. Praise be to the Lord, to the God our Savior who daily bears our burdens. And first John one, seven through nine, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sins. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. And first John four eighteen. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made in perfect love. So what burden of guilt are you carrying on your back? And, and this devo- devotional really reminds me of Pilgrim's Progress. And I don't know if you know the story of Pilgrim's Progress, but it, it talks about different characters. Um, the main character is Christian, and he is... Um, put on the road by evangelist and he is going to basically it you know kind of talks about our narrative in life and how we walk with these burdens our burden of sin on our back and as he goes through his the road um, which is life he um, runs into people like obstinate and pliable and mr worldly wise and, and the list goes on and on who he runs into. But he finally comes to his journey in life um, where he's carrying this burden. And he comes to, um, I can't, I can't, I'm trying to think. He comes to the cross, but I'm trying to think what they call it in the, in the, oh. in the story. Um, where he can drop his burden. And, and then he can go on to the celestial city or heaven. And all because of the cross that he can drop that burden, but he comes, um, he finally comes to the cross along his journey. Anyway, it's a great story. This story has been around, it was written in the 1600s by John Bunyan. And if you haven't heard of it, it's something that you should read. It's, um, it really narrates how we walk through our Christian life and, um, you know, just how, how, we're going to run into sin. We're going to run into different problems. Sorry, my dog is here with me. And, um, but yet we can get rid of that burden. And so, you know, my question is to you, the same in this devotional is what burden are you carrying? Are you holding on to? And I love how it says here, um, when I unburden you, talking about, you know, talking God, you are undeniably free. Stand up straight and tall in God's presence so that one can place more burdens on your back. So that no one can place more burdens on your back. And, um, but if you've never read Pilgrim's Progress, there is, there was a movie out earlier this year, Pilgrim's Progress also. It's a great story and it really um, pictures how we walk through Christian life. And it's by John Bunyan if you're looking for it. So thank you for joining. And I hope that you have gotten value out of this. And if you have, then share it with someone you know. If there's anything I can pray for you, I'd love to be praying for you. Just DM me. Thanks. Have a blessed day.